we have a special guest, uh, club statistician Ben Underwood. Welcome to our show. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. Absolutely. So I have my first question. How do you approach to collecting all the statistics for this major tournament? Well, let's just back up for a second before we go there. Ben, introduce yourself. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> well, how has it happened that you became uh, our stats man? Um, I began a company called Bud Analytics where I look at the different statistics of different sports and okay. chess is a sport that we don't yet have intermediate statistics in our game yet. So right. I thought, you know, go ahead and start collecting these statistics and see what I can find about the game to make it more exciting or perhaps learn more about chess itself. Well, I know Maurice was so enthusiastic about the work that you had done. And, and thank you, of course, for all the graphs you've been providing us as well. But uh, furthermore, uh, did you pick that up from other sports that you bring the statistical world to chess? Yes. So I first began with interest in other sports. And then upon seeing that chess had yet to have, you know, these intermediate statistics to measure the game, right. I became very interested in trying to find that for the game itself at first. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, one of the things was the win probability, right, Nasi? We like those graphics. Yes, for every day. Because um, you've got some explaining to do. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, take it away, Nasi. So chess is still in the tournament. Pre-tournament, uh, we had Fabi as the leader at 21.6%. After day one, it changed because Firuja defeated Fabi, and then Firuja became the top um, um, contender at 19%. Right. But then this one happened. Check it out. Uh, number two. Yeah, you were surprised by Noderbeck jumping to second place. And that's what I wanted to ask you about, Ben. How, did, how, did, how do you get to these numbers? Um, well, first I find, I look at ELO first, um, right. but I don't want to just focus on ELO. I think that's a little bit boring. So I look at the head-to-head -head matchups, how they perform against their opponent. Right. And then I look into even some smaller uh, different factors that could play into their gameplay. So do they play well while they're traveling? How have they been doing recently? Mm. And I try to put those into a model that can predict how these players are going to do in the tournament. Right. So to answer you, uh, Norjebek for today, Right, especially. Um, that could be due to a little bit of randomness itself. You know, 15,000 tournament simulations, there still is a bit of randomness to right. be had in there. But it's also, if he draws a player that he may have not been the favorite against, that could go into him actually having a higher probability for him securing that draw and getting to the next day. Well, I definitely understand the idea of colors. Colors, mm -hmm. ELO yes. being a factor, colors being mm -hmm. the extra white, the travel. Yes. Now you're getting into some interesting X factors. Yes. What other X factors do you look for? Um, as far as the win probabilities, those are the only ones that I've looked at mm -hmm. so far. But uh, overall, what my main job is to do is to collect these databases and then create new ways that we can look at player performance. Right. So take, you can have their opening preparation, their middle game tendencies, how well they play with a certain end game. Mm -hmm. And then you, the next step there is to have a statistical metric that can measure those questions mathematically. Mm. So that is part of what I like to do and what I do um, in my job every day, which is really rewarding and fun. Cool. It sounds very interesting. So since you spent so much time now looking at the chess players and the chess world, have you picked up the game yourself? A, a little <laughs> bit, a little bit. I am still by no means a great chess player, but I am mm. trying to get better and better as I practice and listen to you all every day right. doing your analysis. Nice. That's wonderful. Okay. And uh, I'm sure you've done predictions for this single mm -hmm. cup, but personally, what do you think? Who's going? I feel like I need to pick Ferruja because he's now the favorite in the model that I've made. But, right. you know, at a 23% chance to Ferruja to win, that means he has a 77% chance that he you might not. not. So within that 77, I don't want to count out Nepo, and I don't want to count out Norjebek. I don't think they think that they've performed to the level that each of them have wanted to so right. far in the Grand Chess Tour, but I think that they could show some favorable results for themselves if they keep up the good work in this tournament. If there's one statistic, one statistic blah, 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 that you'd like to measure, which is kind of difficult, what would it be? Ooh, that's really hard. I would love to measure 
overall middle game tendencies and a few of the small ones mm -hmm. that could come into there is is a player more likely to trade in a certain position if they trade does that help them in the simplified end game or mm -hmm. are they going to do better with these more complicated end games uh, versus their opponent so mm -hmm. i think that can vary per opponent it can vary per player, and I would like to look a little bit more into that as Ooh, we continue our show. That could be an interesting stat. Mm -hmm. i got one last question for you. Sure. Are you ready? Here it comes. Is that, have any of the players come to you and said, give me some advice on what I might <laughs> play against Anish, for example? Um, none of these Sinkfeld players, but a few other players have come to me, and I've been working on some personal t statistics for a we few other players. We won't mention any names, right? <laughs> won't mention any names, but I have done personal statistics and plan to keep that up as well, maybe help players win a few more matches or increase their performance as well. That would be the ultimate goal for me. Fantastic. Ben, thank you so much for coming on and doing all of the work, the graphics. We do enjoy them very much. They're great talking points for yes, our show. Yes, thank you. We appreciate all your statistics. Great. Thank you for having me on. It's of course. Been a blast. And let's go take a look at